look like something out of a sci-fi movie. Futuristic beekeeper suits and ominous red headlamps in the hunt for murder hornets. And this morning, finally, a major breakthrough for Washington State researchers who have found where some of the elusive hornets have been hiding after decapitating and decimating bee populations. The giant Asian hornets, also known to humans for their painful and sometimes deadly sting. Ah! Searing pain! These are the most deadly. Their venom is really strong. Some people in Southeast Asia can die from these stings. And with white protective gear, saran wrap, and a vacuum, they dismantled a nest in a tree. It wasn't underground like these nests are normally in Asia. They're already exhibiting different behavior. Still got to read? The hideout discovered after scientists caught and tagged some hornets in the area with tiny transmitters and tracked them back to their nest. This is a train of bees and honey. Hornets that have kept most beekeepers, like Robin David in Seattle, on edge. And we're just making sure that all of our hives are healthy and um, not being threatened by this. It's pretty serious now knowing that a giant hive was found. Experts say finding and killing this invasive species is essential to protecting the health of our food supply since bees pollinate about 80% of our crops. So much of our food system relies on little bees that we don't give them all that much credit for. Now, a quick and very important note from experts. So one of the things that they've seen since murder hornets started popping up in headlines is people rushing to grab those wasp eradicator sprays and go into town on local bee and hornet populations, uh, which is also extremely damaging to our ecosystem. Their best advice, leave it to the professionals, even if they look like they are uh, straight out of E.T., guys. Yeah.